members of the rules, discipline and privileges committee of parliament were given two weeks to investigate and write a report on whether the Prime Minister John Patrick Amamambabazi and Internal Affairs Minister Hilary Onek were in contempt of parliament by refusing to adhere to a resolution that asked them to take leave and pave way for investigations into allegations of bribery in the old sector. But these members have not been able to deliver as directed. We cannot present our report to Parliament today, and I have indicated that to the Speaker, because we still have about four or five people who have indicated they want to interface with the committee, and we cannot lock them out. Now one of the MPs who moved a motion seeking to suspend the two ministers for contempt of parliament is questioning why the committee needs more time to write the report. Western Region Youth MP Gerard Karuhanga claims there could be political influence. We are beginning to think that there are some people who could be influencing this committee because an obvious decision doesn't need a month. Though the chairman of the committee, Fox Odoi, and others said they would deliver a fair and comprehensive report, Tobaga South MP Kenil Chamsi cautions that if the committee writes a contrary report, he was ready to file a minority report. We attach value to the testimony of every witness that has come before the committee. We have already got some average response in terms of positivity that stepping aside is proper. But we shall be objective and uh, uh, look at the law, look at the uh, information we have got from the witnesses, the petitioners. In the event that the committee fails to see sense in protecting Parliament's interests, we will not hesitate to produce a minority report. Karuhanga, who spoke on behalf of his colleagues, say if they are not satisfied with the committee report, they will seek other avenues in order to ensure that the two ministers are thrown out for allegedly refusing to respect Parliament's resolution. One of the things we can choose to do is also to go to the Constitutional Court. Though the Attorney General Peter Nyomi believes there has been no contempt, the former Supreme Court Judge George Kanyahamba said that the two ministers ought to have respected Parliament's resolution. Agnes Nandutu, NTV Parliament.